Top 3 of the Most Famous Con Men, Part 3. Number 3. Bernard Madoff, the Maestro of Fraud. In his capacity as an American financier and former chairman of NASDAQ, he held the financial world in the palm of his hand. Yet behind this respected facade lurked the architect of one of the most significant financial frauds ever recorded, the now infamous Ponzi scheme. His promise? Dazzling financial returns, too enticing to be ignored. His method? Using the fresh funds from new investors to reward the old ones. In 2009, justice finally caught up with Madoff, sentencing him to serve a 150-year term for his crimes against finance. Number 2. Eduard de Valfierno, The Phantom of Art According to legends, this alleged Argentine conman might be the mastermind behind one of the most famous art heists of all times, the theft of the Mona Lisa in 1911. The intrigue? Valfierno supposedly commissioned a gang of thieves to steal the world-renowned painting, before selling six forgeries to collectors who believed they were buying the original. Yet, this story is as nebulous as Valfierno's identity himself. No tangible proof has supported these allegations, leading some to wonder if Valfierno was nothing more than a figment of the imagination, a phantom born from the fascination with the mysterious theft of the Mona Lisa. Number 1. Robert Hendy Frigard, The Birth of a Chameleon This intriguing Briton was born in 1971, and he built himself a reputation as a peerless deceiver. Posing as an MI5 agent, he manipulated fears and illusions to extort money from his victims. His strategy? A cunning psychological scheme where he sowed terror, leading his victims to believe they were being targeted by the IRA, a formidable Irish paramilitary organization. In 2005, his sinister parade came to an end, leading him straight to prison for his skillful yet devastating scams.